Well, good morning, folks. Here we are, Saturday, February 20th. Interesting, uh, I have some interesting, uh, interesting things, uh, in the description today. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, uh, I was going to take the weekend off, but, you know, it's, uh, time is so short that if we don't stand up for freedom and really give our heads a shake, we're going to be shuffling off into slavery. And I know people think that's just a far out stupid statement. Uh, so I challenge you to, to look at the links that I put in the description today and think about that. Roll that through your, through your mind and then come back and say if uh, my opening statement is stupid. Uh, maybe it is, uh, but hey, let's get the debate started. So that's a problem. Most people don't want to discuss this. It's so, it, it's so uh, out there that we don't want to believe anybody would do that to us. When I was uh, in, in, in elementary school, I guess that would be about maybe grade four, grade three, grade, I guess it was grade four. Um, we're watching... This debate, the first one is Atlas Huxley with Mike Wallace. It's a, uh, an interview that Wallace did in, I think it was in 1958. And I was in about grade three or four then. And it was at the time I had old school teachers and who believed in education and discussing things that had some relevance, uh, not just getting us to think goofy shit. Uh, that was sort of lefty, political, correcty sort of thing. And I remember discussing, watching that interview, and uh, I suppose three or four, two or three years later, I had a teacher by the name of Mr. Pellicotti. I think we were in grade six at the time. And we really went into this idea with some meat, this one world government, this one world order. And... You know, I've talked to teachers today who say you're crazy. There's no, no child that age is going to understand that or is going to get into that. And all I could respond to the teachers who were telling me that was, hey, nobody told us that because we sure as hell got into it. Uh, some of the, I, the kids thought, hey, this is a cool idea. And I thought it was bullshit then, and I think it's even bigger bullshit today. But uh, that's... Uh, for, I guess, everybody to make up their own mind. Which way do you want to go? And uh, the second link is uh, a lecture by G. Edward Griffin. And he's explaining the Quigley formula. The Quigley formula. And maybe you've already uh, know all about that, but the lecture is interesting. Even if you know all about the Quigley formula, it's an interesting lecture to listen to. And again, some people, Wikipedia calls this guy a conspiracy theorist, but uh, it's, uh, the conspiracies are happening. Uh, we're part of it right now, and we just don't realize that, hey, this was the conspiracy theory. We're actually up to here in it. And there's more coming. That's why I say time is really short. We don't have a whole lot of time to sort of figure, ah, oh, nobody would do this to us. Nobody would do this to us. Uh, the next one is uh, the Reese on climate lockdowns that are, looks like that's the next thing they're going to roll out. They'll get that uh, uh, young kid out of Sweden and some other young, young people to go blah, blah, blah about, uh, about the climate. And uh, if you've looked at some of the links I've put on, we've talked about climate and earth changes and what's, how that happens. It doesn't, isn't caused by you driving to work. You may think it's, it's a part. It's like, uh, no, it's like, like a cow farting is not destroying the universe. Although well, some people, really highly educated people, with the Marxist statue on their desks, really believe that. And I call that bullshit as well. And actually, no pun intended. A cow farting could be like, or a bull farting could be bullshit. Uh, so that's an interesting one. It's just a short one. And then we have another doctor talking about 
Coca-Cola's training system, Coca-Cola's new training system. And uh, wherever you're from, whatever your racial background, watch that. And because uh, it's really, really frightening indeed. You know, it's when you look at uh, the system that I grew up with, and probably you grew up with. Although well, maybe I'm much older than a lot of you watching this. Uh, the idea of the system that we have is there was an opportunity for everybody. It didn't matter where you're from, what color you are, what your religion was. If you had the ability and the desire and the drive, you could create something for yourself. You know, it had nothing to do with the color of your skin or your eyes or where you went to church or if you did go to church or not. And I think we have lost that. We have lost that. We have everybody sort of arguing with themselves now because if, for whatever reason, because we bought into the propaganda that these people talk about in the first few links. So anyway, uh, just a short one again. Um, check out those links and uh, let me know what you think. Take care. Bye for now. Hey, we'll see you again.